Hello, Carrie here. Today is a very short video where I'm going to show you how to make origami envelopes. They're very simple to make and they look gorgeous. You can do them any size you like. There's this teeny tiny one. That'll be great in an art journal. I had a medium sized ones and I've got a larger one done with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Uh, so firstly, you need a square piece of paper. Any size will do. The bigger the better. This is about 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So you fold it diagonally and then you measure the hypotenuse, the diagonal. And this is 13 and a half, I think. It's about 13 and a half inches. So if I fold it in thirds, that's four and a half roughly. So I fold in that third and I fold in the other third. It's already looking like an envelope, isn't it? Press it down hard with a bone folder. You don't need a bone folder. A back of a pair of scissors works just as well. Or a ruler. And then you fold down this flap to the middle. And then you fold the sides back in again. And now the nifty bit the bit that I like best. I've got to swap it round. I want it that way round. It's just that's the way I'm used to doing it. So you fold that back again and then you open it up in the middle and squish that down. So you've got a diamond now and that is where you put the flap in. See it really looks like an envelope already. Then you fold down the top so that the point doesn't go into the bottom of the diamond. It leaves a line. It just looks more effective that way. And then you pop that inside and there it is, your envelope. How easy is that? Now a bit of glue on the back, just a little bit there, holds it in place. And then you can pop the flap in, or pop your letter in obviously, <laughs> pop the flap down and then use a sticker or some wax to close it properly. Ta -da, there it is. Alternatively, you could leave it unglued and unsealed to put inside your journal so that, and if it's got lines on the back or something, you can open it up and then you can write inside and then fold it back up again to put back inside your journal. I'm thinking of doing that in mine. There it is. It's lovely. I'm so pleased with these. So easy. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you do some as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.